Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legend TD on Lil. I'm gonna re-roll this because it's Nightsaber without particularly good ads. Job done. Job done. Job done. And I don't want to be 2 0 for 3. And I'm not going to be 2 0 for 3. Let's have a look at the team. Aqua. Is that Slave Master? No, that's a Raider. It's fake Slave Master. And Watcher. Okay, let's keep this then. And just keep the Sentry level 1. And get a Night Saber on 5 or something. Actually, ah, we'll, we'll make our life easy with the placement. We won't do the Harfi. Alright, I'm down to warrior. Job done. My life oh, we against warrior. Eh, more or less fine. Three lanes are doing more or less fine. Okay. I mean, now we'll find out if I was just lying through my teeth. The sentry's worse on level 1 than 2 land lovers, but my team wasn't looking that great on 5, so I figured I might just keep the sentry. Give me an option to, you know, have a knight saber 5. And it's also not that much worse than 2 land lovers on 1, right? Like, it's not making that much difference. It turns small mid into, like, small leg, so whatever. I like 3 crabs. I'm cool with that. Probably looking for a meat wagon on um two. Out with it. All right, that's uh Archer. Cannon. Don't know what that is. I think it's one archer though. Dead warriors from that slime. But yeah, it looks like a pretty good muggle. Five. And that's for spirits. Okay, three with them, my dad. I think the issue with two is like. We send Hermit and Hermit only, and I'm not convinced that Hermit only does enough. I am prepared. Do land lovers actually have a meat wagon? Sure. To the land lovers over me, wagon. Better on three. Job done. Job done. I feel like this is... I actually don't know if this holds, but I feel like it doesn't quite... I, am prepared. I know it's not particularly far away from it. But cult pretty good anyway, honestly. Ten gold, tier one. All the ten gold, tier ones are pretty good. This guy's got a lot less HP though. 55 HP and 80 HP. That's a big difference. 10 to 12 and 9 to 10 weight. Hatchling just sucks compared to Cult. Unlucky Hatchling. <laughs> Unlucky Hatchling. It's alright, we, for we forgive the Hatchling. It's really not its fault. Someone call for the doctor? Uh, 
That's fine. Job done. We roll into not much. Definitely not a great row roll. Someone call for the doctor? I bid him. That's a given. We do have no one over building, so do I want to take it on at all? Hmm. Probably want to build a bit. Night Saber, Clock with Sniper, okay. Night Saber Parasite. And they're gonna send for sure with that, right? So I should build something. I guess I'm not jacking yet. I'll jack um, during four. Because they might decide to four. It's less, definitely less likely into Violet. Yeah, rolls are not the best. Uh, like this fast again, they're not the best. I'm also not on free. A kick can be good, but if he gets punished on four five, it's a bit rough. Yeah, he's not working with much. He's not working with much. Aim's definitely hard. My fifty is probably important. I am going to jack, I think. Or should I just full build, full build? Maybe it's just full build. Eh, nah. Team has push, so... Just this way is okay. Wait for, we'll wait to claim these up before we do any king, I suppose. Maybe if we get time, we can six. I'm not sure how good that will be, but something to think about, I suppose. Glad I kept this sentry from level one, hey. As much as I talk shit about hatchlings, it's time to full build them. I think. I don't want this one here though. I'm making a cavalier. Just do that. Yeah, these guys are giving up five. Makes sense. I don't imagine they skip, or I don't expect they skip after that scout. Yeah. Double Blood Orc. Okay. Hatchlings honestly did really good. They kept the Blood Orcs off my Night Saber, which is, like, required. This is actually quite nice uh, in terms of focus. Blood Orcs aren't on the Night Saber. Um, but it did tank some creeps. I don't have enough to hold, but I am clearing. I'm clearing with 5-1, I think is okay. Clearing. But like, I'm relatively content with that, right? Don't 
don't think I whisper. Deserve Thorn Nail. Feels like Whispers may be a little bit illegal. Because these guys are leaking. We'll try and get a Cavalier. I'm down to sell one line lover and the two ones that I want to sell more than that. I'm a long way off, but these guys are leaking a lot. And in the end, if I don't get it, I'll just full build. Maybe like living privateers. So living privateer is not that bad. I'm just gonna do that instead actually. Changed my mind. And if I'm gonna do a uh, living privateer I should do it now, right? Get that uh get the buff. Sorry, yeah, that, that's fine. I don't know, um, I don't know if my suppression, no suppression blocked it because it was pretty loud for me at least. Gotta have a look after this game is over I suppose. Okay, glad I didn't try and get the knight because it was not happening with no legs. No, air day clock, okay. My life for the Lord. I bid you, I am prepared. I bid you, out with it. Upgrade complete. Well, I did Blood Oxfab. That is necessary. Yeah, it's not the best looking send, is it? Not even close to holding versus that either. I'm not. My focus is pretty nutty though. Like I got I got pretty lucky here really to even do this well, to be honest. He's mid though, so that's good. Yeah, immolation. Game feels like we were supposed to be behind. If he rolls and Thorn vs. MO. Never feels wonderful, anyway, minus one. They're not losing second.
Well, I might quite kill all these creeps, but it's fine. We're not losing this hill anyway, I guess. Yeah, I got a 50 rear off the 10 and just like hope it's good. And if it's not, there's not a lot I can do about it. That's fine, I won't drop a knight then. Rerolls are still pretty good in this meta though. Like I'm seven two with this shit to just try not try and have us like not die ten. Yes, it's gonna be the return of abnormality anti ten, because I don't know what else to do. I think this thing sucks on turn, so I don't want one. I think, uh, I think if we're going to win this game, I think it's very difficult to win this game, but I think if we're going to win this game, what needs to happen is Ken just needs to go extremely low. Like, we have two mid and we break them and they lose two to three heals and have to do a bunch of king. So even though we have, you know, a bunch of dead value on that, we have lumber advantage, heal advantage. Uh, we're looking okay. What do you have? I don't have enough wood for that. Maybe it does. My wood is dog shit, but yeah. Okay, we'll try and keep the Abnos alive a little longer. Because uh, these guys spawn like some little locust things that attack whatever they can find, basically. On turn. How much is it? It's 690. I think I should be okay. He's leaking fast as fuck. If he's leaking, I'll be fine. This is slow enough. This is too fast on our side, but these are slow enough. 55 is quite good because he didn't have that raider till like a few levels in. Oh shit, really? 
That's very good then. Uh, Unstack Privateer? I guess so. Or anything that's better? Alright, fuck it. Defiler time. Let's go. Maybe should have done the one in the back, but... I wouldn't sell a Violet, or a Watcher, to be honest. Watcher not great, but I mean, it still feels like too much to sell. I think. Block is important, but... Right, Panda Spider. I mean, I should be okay against Panda. <laughs> Spider's not all that scary, does me. Hey! I... Uh, a diabolic defiler poison this boss. That's unexpected. You can see the locust from the Abnos there. Okay. I did not do very well. It's not shocking given what I was building. Like, I'm not surprised my land is a disaster here, but I don't know what else I can do. I think I'm supposed to build, considering we can very easily die. If I push, we have no wood. Or I have no wood if I push uh, late, like, you know, after 7. And if I push for 7? I mean, pushing after 5 seems silly with Thornmail. And building for 5 seems important. I don't know. I, I don't think there's a lot else I could do that game. I think I just didn't. I think I just had to do a job despite not actually having the units to really do the job well. I mean, maybe I keep that first roll, but then I'm 2 0 on 3, which is just. and like vulnerable 2, vulnerable 3. And don't actually have particularly good overbuild anyway. It's pretty. It's pretty ugly roll to play that first one, so I do still think I'm supposed to reroll. It's just a question of like maybe I was supposed to say five one seven. That's ugh. that just that doesn't sound correct. Time for another Abno. I mean, it's build here, so I guess I'll get another Abno. Can we 13 them? Probably don't have enough wood, but like, can we? Probably don't have enough wood. Bad dog. Just win the arena anyway. Abnos? Arena Abnos? Oh man, this whole game is rough. <laughs> Everything is rough. This is 7-5 line 2. And the archer line has like no reason to leak, right? Because he's leaking every level.
Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do. The issue is, for me, it's like I'm 7-4 and my line does nothing. Like, I'm not holding a single send for the rest of the game. Pretty sure trying to win the arena is like actually quite important. And like, I mean, trying to hold the next end as well seems pretty sensible considering with zero heals. I don't think I'll be successful, but trying makes sense. I think trying makes sense at least. Yeah, it's 14 unless we're on a 13 and we don't have even close to enough wood to think about 13, so. That in only works if they save a bunch of gold, which they probably won't with Immolation 1 heal. Honestly, even if they save a bunch of gold, it may still not work. Yeah, the archer lane's just holding. Cause, um, he can't stop lakes. Not that we want him to stop lakes, we don't. But um, means their archer lane gets to build. Which is another reason why 13 is not working. to Cannon Talk Mermaid. I mean, that's... and Muller. It's pretty good. I think he likes, but we'll see. Oh, they send. Okay. I mean. I didn't think it was that likely. Didn't think it made that much sense. Zero heals, but it's like, do they need to do this? Sort of see if it works. So I was saying Abno's like genuinely not bad on today. I don't know, like, I guess it's mostly the bugs, but maybe they're just auto attacks have a decent increment. I mean, 
Almost. I'm really surprised I went for this, because... Is it? Surviving? Two warlocks? No, okay, I guess it's not surviving. Honestly, not far away from it though. One lane small mid. We're not dying. Hmm. I mean, I'm like cleaning my lane with bugs so they can never kill the maiden because it just goes immune when it procs. So I don't think I can really do better there. Just thinking about what I have in my role. Not really. Maybe spamming Abnos, but 1 PD is still pretty good for debuff. Yeah, unlucky. Um, that game was just always going to be hard with those rolls in Thorn vs. MO. But yeah, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are legends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.